Now, the first one, what we are doing is basically, now, as I mentioned, we'll try to do very, very interactive. Uh, and what we'll try to do is we'll do very, very simple ones so that it becomes easy for you guys to pick up and build very complex strategy on your own. The first one being price range. So, all right. so where do you find custom screener? Uh, custom screener is you click on custom screener, go to DIY, do it yourself. The reason uh, we uh, made this is basically you can create your own strategies. Right? The first one in this one is price range. So let's say if you're looking for something between uh, 10 to maybe 50 low value stocks, uh, low, not low value, uh, low price stocks. Yeah, right. So th these are certain stocks which are in that range, 10 to uh, 10 to uh, 50 in the in the uh, stock basket that we have chosen. So this is one of the very simple filters that you can do. The reason I'm going with very very simple is basically for you to seamlessly get through the complex strategies, right? So uh, just bear with me if I'm going way too slow or way too basic. All right. So th this this is where you'll find that particular thing price between 10 to 50. The second one. The second one is price gain above 2%. So if you want to increase this to, let's say the price gain is more than 2%. So price gain above, you put 2% and run the screener. Right? So out of two, only one came back because what we did is we added two strategies here. One is price between 10 to 50 and something which has gained by 2%. Right? So that's where we will incrementally add the strategies. Price trending up. Right? So, so the third criteria that we are adding is uh, is the price trending up and trending by how much? So this is very important. So what we'll do is uh, what we'll do is we'll go and reset these screeners. Now remember, guys, when we added price between ten to fifty, this is where all your settings, right? All your settings will come here. Right? Price gain above two uh, percent. Right? So what we'll do is we'll reset and we'll go into trending because this is very important. Now, basically, if you are looking at price rise, right, rising for, let's say you, you have an option of putting a lot of figures. Let's say we add five days trending period, right? So we get five, uh, these many stocks which are trending up, uh, trending up for at least five days, right? You look, look at here, these are the stocks. Uh, it could be more than that, uh, more than five days, but whatever you mentioned here, what, whatever you mentioned here, at least that minimum number of ticks are there. So let's say we go to eight over here, right? So price rising for at least eight ticks, right? So we find that Bajaj holding is uh, is trending up for at least eight days. When you look at this, right, it is trending at least for eight days, trend going up for at least eight days. Now what happens is not every stock goes every day up, right? There could be an exception. So. Uh, what what are those exceptions right so let's say you are okay that if out of eight days one day it has not gone up that exception is okay with you so you click one here and run the screener right so you'll find that there are many more stocks compared to that wherein it has gone up for eight days with one exception so when you look at this at least one of the days it has gone down like in this case it looks like that it has gone down right uh, certain stocks which are definitely going up here it has gone down right one day it has gone down so it has taken the exception into factor. The third one is OHLC comparison, right? So when you want to go a little more deeper into the system, where you want to really uh, uh, go and look at each one of the uh, ticks in last maybe five days, 10 days, right? So what you can do is you can go here. You can go here and reset as always you should be doing to clean anything. Now, latest day close is above previous day close then add another one you can go p minus one close above p minus two close right so this is how you can incrementally build now the options here are basically uh, you can use either day or you can use tick where the tick is one of these things you can use above below or equal and over here the options are open high low close and little more of the variations of it high low range body range uh, which you'll see by three and so on, right? So what we are doing is we are going for screener where the close is above previous day, where previous day is above P minus two, right? 
run the screener. So these are the stocks where the latest news is this. It is higher than this, which is in turn is higher than this. Slight variation of this, you can change that uh, the latest close is greater than previous high and previous close is greater than previous minus two high. Right? So when you do here, that's that's where you'll see some of the other variations of it, right? You can you can incrementally build the query. Right? So this close is higher than previous high, and this close is higher than previous high. So this is how you can incrementally build your queries. Right uh, now, this, this being much more simpler, if you want to go a little more complex on it, then what you can do is late. Sorry, not this one. Gain or loss. What you can do is latest close is greater than. You can put a percentage here. Let's say you put two percentage here compared to previous day close. That means today's close is higher than previous day close by at least two percent. Right. So when you run this, you'll see that these many stocks are there. Right. Which uh, so if, if you sort by this, this was the highest gainer compared to previous day close, right? followed by Tata Steel and so on and so forth. Now, this is how you can you, you can play with these two powerful features. Right? It, it can build a lot of strategies. You can build NR4. You can build a lot of candlestick patterns. You can build other stuff that you are interested in. OK, uh, next in line is Price rising by at least one percent. That, that's uh, we have uh, seen price near five percent of uh, two-year high. So now what we we are doing is we have seen some of the very basic things on the price uh, going into. So before going into others, we are doing a quick reset, going into high lows. Now what you can do is you can okay you, you can get into a certain percentage. So in the pre-screen, what you have is their fixed set of percentage, right? Here you have an option. Let's say you are going for uh, near 5% of two-year high. Okay? Run the screener. So you get all those stocks which are near 5% of two-year high. Okay? So this is another thing what you can build. Near one year high, not near, uh, new one year high, actually, it should be. So if you're looking at one year high, then uh, close this tick and get back here, new one year high. Right. So when you click on new one year high, this is, so you have a choice of this thing, right? One week to 10 years. So you click on new one year high, click new stocks. OK, all the stocks, you get quite a few ones, right? where it is a new one year high. It was built on this one. Right? As I said, right, some of the stocks don't trade or doesn't look very great. They hardly any trade. So that's why generally tend doesn't not to go to these things uh, uh, beyond NSC 500. But just for illustration purpose, this is uh, something which you can do. right? So the options over here are quite a few options. Uh, one is, uh, right? Uh, so one option is basically you're choosing period that is made. So if you're looking for something which has made a uh, one year, a uh, one year low in last five days, right? So uh, that may be important in, just in case if uh, it, it has made a new one year low in last five days, right? So you click there and run the screen now. Yeah, right. So Zomato has made uh, Zomato has made a one year low, right? In last five days. So when you look at this one. So in last five days, it has made one year low. So you have an option of the latest latest date, or you have an option of within certain things. You have an option of choosing near certain percentage or of more than certain percentage of either high or low on a different period. All right. So next in line is price rise by 2% and volume jump by 100%. Now, this is something which, if you guys remember in the morning session, uh, we had price gainer with volume, right? Over there, you don't have that much flexibility of what percentage you are interested in. Here, you have that flexibility. You can put a certain percentage there. So resetting price gain by 2% and volume jump by 100. So when you search for this, you will see that uh, the volume gain is above 100% and price gain is above this thing, right? 
So what this is the first time what we did is we have mixed two uh, filters from two different tabs, right? So this is where you can incrementally build uh, your this thing, right? You can always add uh, high lows here, right? So that's something we'll, we'll be doing in the coming uh, coming uh, uh, time, right? So if you, if you see here, you have that option, right? Price gain as well as volume gain vis-a-vis -vis this thing. You can also go and add more stuff here. Uh, let's say uh, compared with the days uh, with historical average, so it is greater than. Uh, it's a 15% of last 10 days volume. So you go here, run it. So what we are seeing is three things. So the, the three filters that we have added, the first filter we added was price gain versus previous day above 2%. Second is volume gain above 100%. Third is this one. Right? So number of records that we get is six. Right? So keep on adding. If, if you want to add, let's say the price trending for at least three days, right? rising for at least three days. So you can add the fourth filter here. Right? You can add the fourth filter. You see the number of records are coming low, right? Or, or lesser number of records coming. So this, this is typically a strategy builder. Do it yourself, create your strategy, and uh, then uh, you know see wonderful results. Combo filters, we have seen some of the combo filters, right? Now, what we what we'll be doing is we'll be creating some combo screeners here. Uh, just just to help you guys to see how to build a certain screeners, right? So first thing is the tick is EOD. We go here, reset, all the filters gone. Tick selected EOD. Second is top basket, nifty, small and mid cap. Uh, Stock basket small and mid cap is small mid cap 400. Second criteria. Third criteria is close price is higher than previous price. So close is higher than previous close. Third criteria. It's the second criteria we added here. Run it. Right, we get three hundred stocks based on these two criteria. Then the next one is P minus one greater than P minus two, and P minus two is greater than P minus three. So. P minus two greater than P minus right? P, P minus uh, previous greater than previous minus two and P minus two greater than P minus three. Yes, right? So as and when we add any of the criteria, you'll see that what you guys have selected here. So run the screener. Yeah, right. So it gives you 118 results. From 400, it came down to a smaller number. Now it is 118, mat matching these many criteria: one, two, three criteria. The fourth criteria in the series is latest volume greater than 10 days average volume. So when we go here, latest volume greater than how many percentage here? Ten percent, right? All right, greater than ten days average volume. Okay. Run this. Yeah, right. So out of hundred eighteen, we get sixty records. So what we have selected, the, the criteria that we selected: one, two, three, four. So latest tick, previous tick, tick minus two, tick minus three, average volume, right? Days volume uh, by average volume, right? So that's the percentage it has shown you here. Now, what we did is we built up a, a criteria, right? Now, sometimes what happens is when you build a criteria, right? Criteria becomes too rigid, right? In this case, it is not. So let in this case, it is not. But in certain cases, you don't get a result, right? 
but you are also so that is your best case scenario so let's say you select 10 criteria right your best case scenario is 10 criteria matching everything now if nothing comes out you are still okay with nine criteria fulfilling the results right so what you can do is so to get bigger set of results to get a bigger set of results what you can do is you can let's say you're not getting results and you want to you feel that you can relax this criteria which is 10 percent of average volume so what you can do is disable this one so when you click on this one the entire line becomes gray and this filter is not applicable anymore right? so it should go, go back to your previous set of results which is more than 60. click here you get 118 right so that's where you can enable disable any of your filter now uh let's let's say you want to fine tune this filter you are in the volume tab right uh, you don't know where this particular tab is you don't need to so uh instead of this thing right uh price close above previous tick you want to edit this click on this one you go back to the same one right so instead of price greater than previous close you can make it price greater than previous high let's see how many results we get so out of 180 we have we'll see how many results we get we get 48 results right where latest close is greater than previous high. Right? So that's how you can incrementally, you can incrementally build your query. If you feel that this criteria is no longer required, you can remove the criteria, pause, enable, edit. All these options are available here. Right? So what, what we have uh, demonstrated here is the basic capability, right? where uh, you can add uh, cleaners one by one or other filters one by one. Uh, you can mix tabs, you can enable, disable, you can remove it. You can change the stock basket. Now, number of records that we get here in mid small cap is 48. Let's say how much we get in FNO. Yeah, we get 66, right? We get 66 records matching these many criteria in FNO, one, two, three criteria, right? So uh, this would be an excellent platform for you guys uh, to build your strategy, to test your strategy, to work through it, right? A lot, lot of these things are uh, are pretty uh, pretty, uh, is something that you sh could or should be working for, working on, right? Next, right? So what we have done is we have built a very simple strategy based on price and volume. What I would advise to get more hands-on, right? Uh, like listening can get a little boring, especially after lunch time, especially on a weekend, right? So what we did is we, we have created certain sessions for you where you can uh, you can work on on your own right uh, and if you have any difficulties you can always come back to us now this session is not like a live live session you can do it after the after the session just to play with the system just to give you certain uh, basic hints not saying that these strategies are great strategies it's just that something which we feel that will give you a good feel of the product right so first one would be is having a different stock basket different tech different price range average volume price trending high lows we are mixing and matching certain things right mixing from three different tabs enable disable delete change things right that's something which you feel till you feel very comfortable with the product or you feel that you can create a good strategy out of it the second second one is somewhat near highs price within one year high within two year high five year high made recent right so just just an idea to play with the system of going into uh, highs, lows, different periods within, and so on and so forth. Uh, a different stock basket here. Another exercise would be is another stock basket price range uh, is greater than five percent, right? Okay, I don't think we have covered this one. Okay, highs, right? Now the next one is price range. Now uh, this is something which goes into a new set of tabs. So we go back here, and I see 500 price ranges greater than 5%. Now you go to beta walls, right? add price range. Now what you can do is basically uh, in the morning session, if you guys remember, there's, there's a filter where you can go for a certain price range. So let's say you are looking for price range for the last five days, average price range is greater than, let's say 3%. Right? 3% is a pretty good. Uh, wherein there can be some money made, right? If traded well, there's there's a possibility of making some money, especially in the uh, bigger segment, I would, uh, like FNO. Right. So these are the stocks where the daily price range is above three percent. So some of them would be pretty good, right? Like Zomato. Uh, 
morning also this stock came in right so when you look at this range of the price right it's pretty big range uh, what is trading every day right so uh, uh, if if traded very carefully there's some money to be made uh, remember guys that when you are dealing with these things right volatility and other things uh, try not to play against the direction of the wind the direction of the wind here is downturn right so if you are trying to do then the better better strategy i'm not saying it's a good strategy or you should follow this the better strategy is to play with the direction of the trend right trend is my friend always remember that right so what we then did is basically price range similarly you have an option if you are looking at weekly monthly right what is the price range you can put above below along with that let's say if you are looking for a beta stock guys remember beta beta is against nifty right uh, so if you are looking at short term beta beta 1 is nifty right so if beta value is 1 it is same as nifty if it is more than 1 then it is more volatile than nifty the lower the lower the beta the more stable the stock is the higher the beta the higher fluctuation is so more money to be made more money to be lose to be lost okay so these are certain beta values along with the price range all right so uh, th that's about this thing 